Today we'll be doing a review on the Tronxy X3S and you'll eventually see our review of K-Camel PLA filament. This was this printer and the filament was sent to us from Ge Gearbest. Let's do the unboxing of the printer. Just open the box now. <laughs> A small bit of filament, not that much, but might be able to print something small out of it. It looks like copper. Instructions. Yeah, I'll look at that later. This is the printing surface. By the looks of it, looks like we get fiberglass bed on it or something. Okay, look at there. Looks like perspex. Hmm. Okay, back in. Oh. for the bed and the Y carriage. Looks nice so far. Let's see when we actually start taking everything out. Now for the main parts. <laughs> everything goes. We have the one sec. Press box, dude. <laughs> now we have the X axis with the extruder head. It looks like it comes with a layer cooling fan. Control boxes here. And we've got some other stuff in this box that we'll show you later.
Okay, instructions. Model X3S manual, Shenzhen Tronic Tronxy Technology Co LTD. It's got safety cautions, forbidden in caution. Machine specifications, I'll, I'll name some of them. Print size 330 by 330 by 420 millimeters. Nozzle diameter is 0.4 millimeters. Heat bed size is 330 by 330 and 3 millimeters thick. Print temperature 90, so don't go over 90. C. Material aluminium base. Output is 12 volt 20 amps. Input is AC 110 or 220 volt optional. So you must be able to switch it. And yeah, you can. It's just right in the side of the control box. So I'll show you that later. Got a machine assembly, which is hardly anything at all. It's just um, four bolts on each side of the X axis and some four T screws, T, T bolts. And install the filament feeder. Show you that. It shows you some stuff about wiring, which is basically just connecting the wires in. And that's about it. Now we want the tools. We haven't really seen a, a, a printer come with decent tools here, but. Three decent screwdrivers, then Allen keys, they're just standard, but the screwdrivers are pretty good. Not really name stuff, but they're good. And there's one thing we noticed about this it is an aluminium print surface. And when we're checking over the screws and everything, making sure everything is tight, please when you're assembling it, make sure everything's tight. All the bolts and screws, everything. But when we're assembling the bed, uh, we noticed that the adjustment screws for the bed didn't have plastic washers on. This is a must, because you don't want your bed to short circuit and potentially cause a fire. So we made sure that all the screws has plastic washers on them. Now the colour of the printer, it's black with this red plastic slot. It just slots in, but they were already slotted in with it.
No, I'm just checking to see if the X axis is lined up with the dual Z. Yes, dual Z in this one. And I've lined it up pretty good. You just using my vernier to check the heights and everything. Good. No. Now, we've already said it's dual C. Uh, so, in the tornado, basically it's just got a single Z. But now, this one is dual. But the bed, again, dual bed platform, more stability. And you really need to have a look at this. Extruder in here, it looks different than usual. It's got a cooling fan. First impressions of that sprinter looks pretty good. Can't wait to see it running. One of the things we don't really like about the printer is the print surface looks to be acrylic. <coughs> we'll probably try printing on it, like sticking the sticker on and printing on it. But we probably will eventually update our print surface. There was one thing I, made, I forgot about the instructions is it's colored it's colored instructions, so that's good as well. Now we'll just start putting all the wires together and then do our first one. 